Hey, hey, I, I heard you guys are looking, uh, looking for a new tractor brand for Farm Sim. E, I, I mean, may, maybe, but uh, what, what are you going to bring? You know what? The orange is making me feel a little nervous. No, wait, wait, wait. Let's give him a chance. Uh, orange, orange guy, what, what, do you, what do you bring into the table? What do you got for us? Okay, well, how about four brand new small mid-sized tractors? Because you know what? That's what everybody wants is more small to mid-sized. That's what we all want. That's what we all need. I'm going to bring a brand new brand with four brand new small to mid-sized tractors. Oof. Ah, uh, sheesh. You, you see, um, you see there, Orange? The last time we came out with some small mid-sized tractors, it didn't really, well, it didn't really go over all that well. What the heck was that? Oh, don't worry, don't worry about him. Listen, we've had orange brands before, and um, it, it didn't really go over well. So... Oh, oh, trust me. I'm nothing like you've seen before. <gasps> <laughs> and welcome into your Farm Sim Weekend Update, folks. I'm Clutch, and once again, this is the show where you get all your news, your updates, and your new mods for Farming Simulator. Well, 22 right now is what we're talking about. All 22 today. Of course, guys, if it's your first time jumping in, uh, we do live streams, role play series, live, everything. News reviews, mod reviews, map updates, everything you can think of for Farming Simulator here on the channel. So make sure you guys go down to the bottom, click that big red subscribe button if you haven't done so already. So you don't miss anything going on here on the channel. Now, as for Farming Simulator 22, of course, our biggest news. Well, we've got confirmation. Kubota is finally coming to Farming Simulator. Can't believe it. I'm a little bit excited if you didn't know. I mean, Kubota has been a brand I've personally been hoping for would come to Farm Sim for quite some time. So, so excited to see this. We got Kubota coming June 28th. June 28th is going to be our release date the Kubota pack. Now this package comes with 11 new pieces of equipment. You're going to get four brand new tractors. You're also going to get two front loader arms. You're getting two different side by sides and then also two, uh, two different skid steer type uh, tractors as well as a wheeled loader. So you're getting quite a bit of variety here. Now the Kubota stuff that we're getting, most of the Kubota stuff you're going to find is in small to mid size uh, tractors and equipment for the most part. Nothing in the large, so, so even the tractors, the M8 is the largest one, is a little around 200 horsepower off the top there. So you're not, thinking, you're not getting anything that's massive, but you're going to get a lot of smaller to mid-size equipment that's uh, going to round out some of the other areas of your vehicle shop. Now also included with this pack will be the passenger mod essentially, but it comes with this pack only. So what it allows you to do is allows you to do multiplayer and have passengers in your vehicles and we'll backdate a bunch of the base game equipment as well. So you can run passengers in a whole bunch of equipment now, which is fantastic, but you need to have this DLC. So this is DLC is part of the year one pass, of course, or you can buy it separately. It goes for $11.99, I believe right now it is on sale until June 27th. Now, if you've got the year one pass already, you've already paid for this DLC. You're going to be getting this DLC on release date, June 28th. If you do not have the, the year one pass, you can go down in the description, get the year one pass, or just get this DLC if you so desire. Make sure you guys use the partner code CLUTCHSIM, which goes to help out the channel here. Yeah, I know. Shameless plug. You guys know how it is. Now, on top of the Kubota pack being confirmed for Farmstead 22, we also got some new fact sheets on the free AGI DLC pack being released at some point soon, I'm hoping. Uh, fact sheets included the FX Seed Treater. We've got the UTX44 Auger. And as well, we got a flat bottom plus the Neko or Nico dryer. So we got a grain bin with dryer as well coming to Farm Sim 22. That's kind of cool, actually. So currently, no release date on this AGI Aggie uh, DLC, free DLC. We've received a bunch of fact sheets. That's all we got so far. It just says coming soon. So hold your breath for that one, I guess. Now, it's been a pretty big week for mods in Farming Simulator 22 in the Mod Hub, especially. A lot of a lot of big mods been released this week. A lot of fun mods. A lot of mods that have been waiting for a little while on. Let's start with the John Deere 9RX, the 2022 series by Sid Modding. I'd like to have more choices here. Of course, we got the John Deere 40 series by Black Sheep Modding, a whole pack of older John Deere 40 series tractors. Speaking of somewhat older tractors, you got the Massey Ferguson Small Classics by Peter J with some open cab older style. Massey Ferguson's now in the Mod Hub. The Caffini Drift Stopper Evo by Pepe978 released this week. 
Something else we can use to uh, fertilize our grapes with. Um, you know what? We need more of this type of stuff for sure. Considering grapes are such a new crop, I love seeing this. Another Big Bud 747-16V was released by Hispano. This one has got so many options on it. A whole bunch of color changeable options. You can really make the Big Bud look your own with this thing. Of course, the TLX 3500 series by the one the only 82 Studio was released this week for all platforms. Super excited for everyone to have access to this and finally getting this one in their farms and we're not even done there with trucks guys you've got the pickup rodeo by vector man for all platforms as well and lastly for the more notable mods the lizard auger master by mantrid was released this week which makes chaffing corn a whole lot easier you got that rear auger on the back of this thing i, I really do appreciate this mod for sure now as far as various third-party mods go we've had some maps release of course middleburg new york released by nitro dad this past week uh, we've got a whole video review done on this map. If you want to learn more about Middleburg, go take a look at the video. The first map for Farming Simulator 22 done by Nitro Dad is out. And it's a pretty, pretty sweet looking map, guys. Also, DJ Moddings confirmed that he is working on Upper Mississippi River Valley for Farming Simulator 22. So fingers crossed we see that in the next, uh, well, you know what? Probably I'm going to give it a month or two. Keep posted on the channel. We'll post updates when they come available. And lastly, Legacy AG Shops. The Legacy AG Shops, he's posted a bunch of, I think there's three different shop buildings plus a cattle barn. Cattle barn? Cattle barn? What's a cattle barn? A cattle barn that is, they're, they're very realistic looking. A little bit smaller in size, but great looking shops. Uh, go check those out. They're over on Facebook on Legacy AG's Facebook page. Now, as for our question, last week I asked you, what would you like to see more variety of in Farming Simulator? And surprisingly, a little bit surprisingly, at least 60% of you, 66% to be exact, said you want to see more variety in crops. We got the other 30% looking for more variety in livestock. I was somewhat surprised on that. I thought it was going to be closer to 50-50 on those two, but hey, there you go. So more you want to see more variety in crops. I can get behind that. Let's see some rice. Let's see some alfalfa. Let's see all that kind of stuff. Base game. Now for the question of the week for this week, I'm going to make it simple for you guys. Since the Kubota DLC was officially announced this week, is that the brand that you wanted to see most come to Farming Simulator 22? Was Kubota the one brand you wanted to see most or is it something else? doesn't matter what else it was. For me personally, Kubota was the number one brand I wanted to see brought to Farming Simulator. I'm so happy it's coming. So... Was this the number one brand for you or did you think of some other one? If you had something else that you thought of that you wanted to see come for as far as brands go, drop it down in the comments. Uh, but the question itself is going to be just Kubota is the brand I want or no, it's something else. So that's it. That's all. There we go. So I think I think we pushed through this pretty darn quick. Get through the weekend update. Get going on to next week. Get this Kubota brand coming to Farming Simulator. Can't wait to see it. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today. Of course, drop a like if you uh, enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around the channel. And uh, you know what, folks? I will catch you next week. Have a good one, folks. We'll see you then.